in this tutorial we will discuss how to detect the edges in the images now first of all what do you mean by edge in the image so edge is a set of collected pixels that form a boundary between two disjoint regions with relatively distinct gray level parameters see we have drawn this line and this is the edge where the gray level is disjoint or it is drastically changing it is white and this is black so if we draw the horizontal line profile so this is nothing but the high level high values of the pixel and this is nothing but the very low gray level of the pixel and this is high level of the pixel so basically the idea in case of edge detection is the computation of local derivatives so the edge detection is plays a major role in feature detection feature extraction image analysis image pattern recognition computer vision and so on now there are various methods or operators available for detecting the edges first operator is sobel operator it is a mask 3 by 3 mask with the first row minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 0 0 1 2 1 and second uh, matrix is minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 as a vertical so it is gx and gy as a gradient operator gx gy then robots this is the mask for robots 1 0 0 1 and 0 1 minus 1 so private mask minus 1 minus 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 and this is the gx and gy so you have to compute the gx and then compute the gy and it combines the uh, means horizontal lines it calculates and this mask calculates the vertical differences and later it is combined together so it is the gx and gy then log having different mask and can edge detector are the various methods of detection. with the help of scilab i am writing the code for detection of edges and i will use various operators for detection and i am going to use this particular image where i will perform the edge detection i will save it with the edge1.sc so i will accept that image into a variable a so i will use the command i am read and read. So the image is this is the image. So I will copy the path of the image. I have I have taken that image into variable A. After that there are various operators. First of all, I will use Sobel operator. Sobel operator. So I will take is equal to b is another variable which stores the image on which we have operated Sobel uh, operator. So that the command is edge. Now a is the variable on which I have to operate and I have to write Sobel. So I have to pass the parameter Sobel. If I save this and if I am executing and I will show you if I am show how B save execute. So this is nothing but the Sobel edge or edge with the help of Sobel operator. Now I will use various other operators. If suppose I am using private then C is equal to edge a comma private private then if I am using I am show C so it will show you the private operated image so this is nothing but the output of the image actual image is actual image is this one and we have operated I am going to use the log operator log Laplacian of Gaussian so operator. So if suppose it is B is equal to edge in bracket, uh, we have to pass the image A and we have to write log and this is nothing but the D. So save it and compile it. So this is nothing but the edge formed due to the log operator. And last is can you edge detector? Can you edge detector? So E is equal to edge I will pass the A and can edge 
and also e. So save it and compile it. So this is nothing but the can uh, age we have found out, or we got the image with the can age detection. So if you want to compare all those. So I will show you the comparison of all. This is the original image I have taken, and if I am applying the Sobel mask, this will be the output of Sobel mask. If I am applying Previt mask, I am getting this output as age, but uh, using Previt mask. This is nothing but the log with the log operator, and this is the Cami age. So with the Cami age, I am getting the fine age and. Hence, most of the times the canning edge detector is used in the edge detection because it performs many steps to get the edge. So this is about how to get the edges, how to find the edges with the edge detection.